Just when you thought Benchmade couldn't get even more ridiculous with their pricing, they did come out with a Benchmade 4850 OM. Let's get to it. <laughs> guys here we go we got the benchmade 4850 om and the 4850 bk om let's just go over the specs real quick get that out of the way the uh, blade length on this on these two knives is 2.475 inches and the overall length is 5.88 inches blade steel is cpm s30b and uh, obviously it's a, a clip point style and weighs under let's see hmm Weighs uh, 1.51 ounces, so extremely lightweight. So we'll go over the, the features real quick. So it's got this nice scaling here. It's uh, kind of a toothpick type of knife. And this is, of course, an automatic. So there's the satin one, and then here is the black one. So it's got the Benchmade logo, model number. The uh, screws are recessed here. And got the... Uh, clip which is reversible so if you're a lefty you can move this to the other side and s30 vn okay so i hope you're sitting down the price on the uh, satin one are you ready it's 306 and this one is 324 and i kind of feel like going into a uh, uh lewis black rant <laughs> with his um uh, you know infamous starbucks end of the universe kind of thinking what in the world is Benchmade thinking, I guess they got the name right, OM, like, oh, um, oh my goodness, this is such a high-priced knife, but come on, really, Benchmade, uh, I think you're really outpricing yourselves out of the marketplace. Let's just do a quick comparison. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here, I've got a Boker knife. This one's got better action, in my opinion, than these two 4850s. Um, this just easily goes open and close. This is about a $60, $65 knife. D2 steel, kind of a USB size, but $306 for this knife. And to me, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel good opening up. You feel like right about here when I press, it should deploy, nah, -uh. you gotta go a little bit further for this sucker to deploy. And it, and it feels very, um, very stiff. Uh, it does not feel comfortable whatsoever trying to get this thing to deploy. This has a much smoother ridges, and I could open this all day, not get tired. Here's Benchmade's uh, famous Infidel. This is the Mini Infidel. This, again, feels much smoother, and the price point, I believe, around this is around 400 And look, look at the size difference. So you're telling me that that's a $306 knife, and just for maybe 100 bucks more, you're getting something beefier. This is a, a double-edged knife. It's got the scaling. This has been around forever, at least 20-something years. The uh, full-size Infidel, and I believe the Mini Infidel's probably been around just as long. Don't quote me on that. But I just think Benchmade's getting really out of hand. It's getting absurd with their pricing. Um, every single model this year, the same, you know, has not been... I haven't seen a home run hitter yet. I was hoping that this one would be. But, um, you know, this feels like more around the $150, $175 range. I bet you, if that was the case, these would sell out. You know, for that price point, it's like, okay, it's not a perfect knife. You know, if I'm going to be spending $306 or $324 on this, you know, I'd want this to be a smoother action rather than this where, okay, you feel like you're pressing it, you're pressing it, and it's still not being deployed. Uh, that just, that just uh, bugs the crap out of me. So let's show you uh, another knife here. So I've got a uh, Protec. Boom, press one button, out it goes. Guess what this price is? This is about a $160 knife. So you're telling me that, I, that this is better off at a $306 price point? I just don't get it. Um, you know, I understand that you know, the mechanics are a little bit more complex when it comes to this uh, out the front with the double edge, you know, or with the double action. Um, but still, come on, Benchmade. I, I really wish y'all would get your act together and and uh, come down on the prices. I, I just don't see, you know, these things moving. I mean, it's it's cute, whatever. You know, looks like a USB stick. But um, I just there's going to be some people that no matter what, they're they're diehard 
Benchmade fanatics, they'll still buy this knife. Don't get me wrong. You know, and some of them, yeah, it's it's cool. It's got the concealment, you know, option. But really, you could just, if it's just for everyday opening for like boxes and stuff, you know, why not just go with a Boker or or a Protec knife? Um, you know, this, yeah, I could see if, you know, it's got the coolness factor because it's small. But the price point, I think Benchmade's doing themselves a disservice. They're probably turning off a lot of people um, with their price point. And it's just, it's not this knife. There are other knives out there. And uh, I'm not sure if you would agree or disagree with me, but I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Um, have you, is there anything that excites you from, that's Benchmade's made this year? They've come out with the different bug outs. They've got the different, um, the shootouts in the different colors. And yeah, that's cool. But, you know, how many times can you really, just uh, use the same model and, you know, go with a different color. I'd really like them to think outside the box and go with something completely different. Uh, FYI, just on a background, this technically was supposed to be released last year in 2022. But uh, for whatever reason, I think they were working on design improvements. And originally these were gonna be a, uh, a blue color, but um, they, uh, they postponed it. It was not available. And then they decided to bring it back went to the drawing board, did some other improvements, whatever. And uh, instead of being released in the blue color, they've released it in the black. But I'm just not understanding why this is a $306 knife. If you know the answer, please leave us a comment, explain it to me. I will love to understand. Like from, um, you know, I get it. You want to recover your, you know, production cost, the, uh, the original design cost when you come out with a knife, but you know, I feel like if they had come down on this price point, 150, 175, I could see these flying out the door. But the 306, once you get into that next bracket, the $300 range, you're turning off a lot of people. It better be a kick-ass knife if I'm paying over $300. This is not, to me, this is not this knife. Now, again, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. This is just my personal opinion. Some guys, when they get this, they said, uh, absolutely, I think it's totally worth it. I'd spend over $300 for this knife. Why not? You know, Gil, you got your, your facts wrong or um, you don't know what you're talking about. But that's just my personal opinion. And that's cool. You know, if you want to spend 300 bucks on this, that's fine. That's, I totally, you know, respect that. But I, from from my personal uh, preference, I'm not going to spend $300 on this knife. When it, to me, it just doesn't feel good. You know, first time I should be able to push this and then it should pop out but instead you got to go here and then push it a little bit more for it to deploy out these other knives no problem i push it once and out ejects the blade you know these are solid reliable and um you know again the smoker for a 60 dollar knife you know i i wouldn't get tired pushing this in you know it's got a nice contoured um you know push button this one just feels weird you know, like I said, right about here, boom, the blade should go out, and it's not doing that. So, I don't know. Tell me if I'm crazy. Tell me if I'm wrong. That's fine. Um, that's what this channel is all about. I want to hear your feedback. Tell me, what do you guys think? I mean, I, I am not, I have not been very impressed with what Benchmade's released so far, and the price points are turning me off even further. Um, the gold class knives are probably the exception to that. Most of the gold class knives that always come out. Um, are very popular because it's a limited run, but at least they're cool. And yes, they may bring up like an older model, which I would encourage Benchmade to do. You know, they had the Mini Loco that was out for, gosh, they released that thing back in 2017 or 2018. It was really cool, but it was a one-time thing where I would call it like a legacy service. Bring out a knife that did really well in the past and just, you know, once a quarter, release it, do something different, make it a gold class, whatever, and, um, and then move on to the next project if you insist on, uh, you know, keeping a, a legacy program up and about. I would totally be in for that. Let's do a legacy program bench made, get that rolling. But in the meantime, for the next, um, I don't know what your designers are thinking with, uh, with some of these design knives. I mean, I would buy this, again, if it was 175 tops, maybe 150 for sure, 175. Uh, you're kind of pushing my limit. 200, forget it. I'm walking away. I am moving on. So that's my honest review about this knife. So um, again, this feels, I don't know. It just doesn't feel good to me. That's my first impressions. 
um, and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, watch our playlist up above. Let us know what you guys think. I'm very eager to, to get your feedback on the 4850 OM or OM. Like, oh my gosh, what the heck is Benchmade thinking with, uh, with their prices recently? But anyway, enough rant. I appreciate your time, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all take care.